Here's a fifth claim that we need to prove or disprove. f of n is in big O of the square of f of n. So from the definition of the big O notation, if f of n is big O of the square of f of n, there should exist a constant c greater than 0 such that for all n larger than or equal to some threshold n naught, f of n needs to be bounded from above by a constant multiple of the square of f of n. Or in other words, if we, if we divide both sides by f of n, we get 1 is greater than or equal to c times f of n. Or in other words, f of n needs to be greater than or equal to 1 by c. So there exists a constant such that f of n is larger than or equal to 1 by c. Now is this condition going to be true? So we are asked whether this is this claim is true or false. In other words, we are asked whether this claim is always true or whether it could be false. Or equivalently, we are asked whether this claim, there exists a constant greater than 0, such that for all n larger than or equal to n naught, it is claimed that f of n is greater than or equal to 1 by c. Is this true for all functions f of n? Of course, we are assuming here that these functions are asymptotically positive. This is also given in the statement of the problem. And we saw that this is an assumption uh, we made for our whole discussion on the asymptotic notation, where we assume that if you're going to look at a function like p of n, we are going to look at values of n that are non-negative and we are going to assume that the values of t of n are also going to be non-negative. And this is at least true for um, values of n that are, uh, this, uh, that are large enough. So let's assume that t of n is actually greater than 0, so it's asymptotically positive. So, is this true for all functions f of n? Is it true that whenever you have an asymptotically positive function, for all values of n larger than or equal to some threshold, the value of this function will necessarily be greater than or equal to the reciprocal of that constant? Well, if we take a function like f of n equal to n square, well, that's th this is clearly going to be true because it doesn't matter what constant you pick. I could pick c to be very, very small so that 1 by c is huge. But as long as 1 by c is a constant, eventually my function is going to overtake it for large enough values of n. And so this is going to be true for functions like f of n is equal to n squared. It's also going to be true for functions like f of n equal to n or even f of n equal to log n. And of course for exponential functions this is going to be true if f of n is 2 to the power n. All these functions because they increase with n, eventually they are going to beat every constant. They are going to rise above every value that you may fix as the upper limit. But what if a function is asymptoting 
towards say zero for example f of n equals one by n now, is this an asymptotically positive function yes it is because it doesn't matter what value of n you choose value of one by n is going to be greater than zero but is this function going to be always greater than or equal to some constant that we choose beforehand well no because it doesn't matter how small this is the graph of f of n equals 1 by n is going to look like this so if this is n you're only looking at non negative uh, you know uh, uh, positive values of n here if you plot f of n versus n this is how f of n equals 1 by n is going to look is going to for larger and larger values of n it's going to asymptote towards the horizontal axis so it doesn't matter how small i choose 1 by c to be if 1 by c is very large then clearly this condition is going to be negated because f of n is going on decreasing with increasing values of n it's 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 going more and more closer to zero so whatever constant whatever the value of 1 by c be eventually once n becomes large enough f of n is going to it's the value of f of n is going to decrease below 1 by c so there doesn't seem to be any constant such that once n becomes large enough f of n is guaranteed to be greater than or equal to the reciprocal of that constant because if we if so f of n is 1 by n for 1 by n to be always greater than or equal to 1 by c it must be the case that c is less than or equal to n or n is less than or equal to c so as long as the value of n is less than or equal to c this may hold but once the value of n crosses c then f of n is going to be less than 1 by c so it's impossible to um it it's it's impossible to satisfy this inequality for any constant for any positive constant c and so this function f of n equals 1 by n is a counter example to this claim note that this claim does hold for functions like f of n equals n or n square or log n or to the power n and so on but to disprove this generalized claim all we need is one counter example and that counter example is f of n equals 1 by n in general any function that asymptotes towards zero is going to end up negating this 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 kind of an uh, uh, inequality because it's not possible to bound that function uh it is not possible to claim that the value of the function must always be above some constant because a function that is asymptoting towards zero is ultimately going to decrease below any constant that we may fix